So. All right, so we're uh, planting eggs. <laughs> You're recording? You have sound? Yes, we have sound. Okay. We're ready. Well, it begins. We get our first order of quail eggs. And they look just like they did in the picture. Isn't they beautiful? Oh, my goodness. I don't know if I can reach underneath without dropping them. Oh, they're really pretty. That is so nice. Forty-eight, right there. Isn't that pretty? They're still tiny little eggs. They're supposed to be the big ones. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. That's a nice way of packing them. You did a good job. Oh, looks like we all survived the trip. Let's see. Be done. They all survived. That's pretty nice. That's some awesome packing. Let's take them out so, of the box and let them breathe. Well, and we'll sit for like uh, till tomorrow morning, so they can settle their little yolks. Well, why don't we just leave them in the box? So they can't breathe. As well, I mean temperature-wise, I want them to be cool without being cold. Oh, these are cool. They're colder than the house. Okay. Well, I'll take them out and put them on this stack. No reason to move them too much. The house is about 68 degrees, so um, we don't really have a 50 degree place to kind of keep them in. But they recommend letting them sit before putting them in the that incubator. So cool. We also are still waiting for our second incubator. We need to keep the box in this if we decide to ship some later. Yeah, yeah, that's not a problem. Pretty cool. Um, so anyway, we're waiting for our second incubator so we can get all these eggs in there. Mostly start doubling them up, which I'm not sure if that would be the best thing to do, but it won't be till tomorrow anyway. All right. Awesome. Well, there's our first batch of eggs come in, and uh, it should be 90 eggs. Can't wait to see how we do. Awesome. So, here we are in the bathroom with our new incubator. Now, we were supposed to get two, but we only got one. And the other one is in transit somewhere. Uh, the shipper got it in the shipping late, and so it won't be here till next week. I'm not quite sure how we're going to handle our 90-some quail eggs, but um, this will hold 48. We might just have to see if, how much we can double them. Anyway, um, we've been playing all day with the temperatures, and um, this, I've had five different thermometers in here, and they've all read different. So it's very unhelpful. So we found one that we know is um, 0.4 of a Fahrenheit degree off at zero degrees. That's this guy here. So we're going to assume that it will be the same at 212 or whatever boiling is at 3,500 feet. And um, we're just going to run this thing a little bit warmer than the uh, its own little gauge says here. This is 39.4 at the moment. I have it set at 39.5, that's what it's set at, and we're just waiting for this to come up to temp up here. Um, it's currently at 36, so it's got a little ways to go. Good morning, everyone. So I'm back at the incubator. I've been working on it for, um, well, minus six hours all night. Um, Trying to get this thing dialed in. So we tested this thermometer in freezing water because the temperatures don't go up to 212. But it does go down to 32. So at 32, 
it was it showed 31.6 in freezing water. That was water in the freezer that hadn't frozen yet, but had started to around the outside and had some ice in it. And so that's off four tenths of a degree in Fahrenheit. So if we wanted 91, or excuse me, 99.5, that would be 99.1 on this thermometer right here. And then our humidity on here shows 54. It was running around 70. So at 54 here, we're at 60 on here, if you can see it. And what I had to do was put a little bit of duct tape on the side here where it opens, just to make a small little crack. So it's about a sixteenth of an inch, but it adds just enough ventilation to keep the humidity at a proper level. I have one of the trays inside filled with water. We're back. And this is a little off more than it was before. So this is showing 37.8. It was 37.9 a second ago. This is cooling down at 38. I have turned this down a little bit, uh, another tenth of a percent, or a tenth of a degree, so hopefully it will um, be a little bit cooler and better in the range of what we need. Okay, and then we, here is a new incubator. It's not the one we were expecting by FedEx, um, which is probably not going to be here till sometime next week, but we ran down and got one. I had to do an errand anyway, so um, one hour trip made itself uh, multi-use. So I've got to figure out how to make this work. So. All right, so we're uh, planting eggs <laughs> in our incubator. I just broke that one. Yeah, I think that row seems to be a little bit of a problem because I have two that were broken out of that side. And I don't want to do this one handed, so you're in charge of the rest of it. Okay, so I'm pretty sure five broke. of these are broken. I know these two were broken when I went to pick them up. This one is okay. And I broke this one, I broke that one. Okay, so four. We're down four. Which is okay, because our other incubator that we just picked up from a friend, um, only has 36 baskets in it, so we're not going to be able to put all the other eggs in it. This is what we got. All right. The other ones I pushed up earlier, so they'd be easier. This is the last one, right? Yeah. Okay. That's all that's going to fit in there. Okay. All right. And we've got to get that piece of, make sure that thing is, okay. Okay, so, um, can you look to see what time it is? I'm going to mark it down. <laughs> All right, so okay, we have incubator number one. We filled on 4:20 at 5 p.m. So in 14 days we go into lockdown. Yay! There, now you can see. There's our second set of eggs in the incubator. We um, managed to find one way that we could get a few more in since we were short a little bit and uh, hopefully that thing will rotate properly. And we found a few that were broken. So I think we're wasting, uh, looks like five eggs did not make it into the either incubator.
All right, 9 o'clock, Saturday evening, and we're done with these. I'm going to put the lid on now.